and they're off. There goes Macho Jack out for the lead because I said so is racing in second and Boss Life is on the outside in third. Then Love Code is next in fourth, followed by Warfront Fighter in fifth. Gap of three to the uh, three trailers, Verify Tailspin and Union Charm. The leader is the favorite, Macho Jack, by three quarters of a length. Cause I said so. Runs in second through a quarter in 22 and four fifth seconds. They go into the turn. It is Macho Jack the leader here. Cause I said so in second. Boss life on the outside in third and gaining ground. Break of two to Warfront Fighter who sits just behind those front three in fourth. And Love Code is fifth. Verify moves up on the outside. The field is at the top of the stretch. It is Macho Jack down on the inside, leading through a half in 45 and 4. And Macho Jack has now opened up. Macho Jack has a four length lead. Cause I said so in second. Then Boss Life and Warfront Fighter. No doubt about the winner of today's opener. It is Macho Jack at even money. Cause I said so was second. Tailspin came on for third. And Warfront Fighter was fourth. Number four, Macho Jack was first. Number six, Cause I Said So was second. Number two, Tailspin finished third. Number five, Warfront Fighter finished fourth. Results are unofficial. Four, six, two, five. Time of the race, one minute, ten. And two fifth seconds. And they're off. Grudge and the White Blinkers is going out for the lead. Bourbon and Ditch is down at the rail. And just behind is the favorite, Kyota. And to her outside is Jade's Jelly. Then it's a break of two. Back to Overheated. And trailing the field is Wicked Amber in sixth. Up front, big long shot, Bourbon and Ditch down at the rail. And right alongside is Grudge. The quarter went in 22 and one-fifth seconds. A little more than two lengths to Jade's Jelly, who's racing in third. Kyoto on the inside is in fourth, and now moving up a bit as the field comes for the top of the stretch. It's Bourbon and Ditch and Grudge. Now three wide is Kyoto. Out in the middle of the course is Jade's Jelly. Looking for a way through now is Overheated, who's coming on down towards the rail. There's an eighth of a mile to the finish. Here's Kyoto on the outside. Overheated continues to gain, but Kyoto is in front. And then Bourbon and Ditch and Overheated. It is Kyoto, and she completes the chalky double. Overheated got up for second. Bourbon and Ditch was third. Number two, Kyoto was first. 
Number seven, Overheated second. Number one, Bourbon and Ditch was third. And number six, Jade's Jelly finished fourth. Results not official. Two, seven, one, six. The time was one minute, two and four fifth seconds. And they're off. Awkward beginning for number one, No More Miracles, who's now moving up a spot. Star of the West is out for the early lead. I saw it all on the outside. Runs in second. Our American star, No More Miracles. They are heads apart, third and fourth. And Dublin Green is the trailer in fifth. It's the big favorite here, Star of the West, who steps away to lead by two and a half lengths. Down on the inside is No More Miracles. Now moving into second. I saw it all is in third. Then our American star and Dublin Green. The opening quarter was running 23 seconds. Star of the West leads here by a length. No more miracles. Down on the inside runs in second. I saw it all's on the outside. Then our American star farther back is Dublin Green. Star of the West has the lead as they turn into the stretch. It's Star of the West in front by almost three lengths. Ran the half in 46 seconds. Star of the West is the leader. Then No More Miracles, I Saw It All, Our American Star, and Dublin Green. Star of the West, and a Rod Ortiz Jr. They coast home here to win by five. Our American Star came on to get second. Then I Saw It All, and No More Miracles. Number two, Star of the West, was first. Number five, Our American Star, was second. Number six, I Saw It All, finished third. And number one, No More Miracles, was fourth. These results unofficial. Two, five, six, one. Time of the race, one minute, ten and two-fifth seconds. And they're off. Calculated risker. Catch a cab down on the inside. Now moving up is Hushin along with Big Mountain. It's Big Mountain on the outside. And Hushin 
on the inside, and the two of them are heads apart going around the uh, clubhouse turn. Big Mountain a bit hard to handle there. Hushin is the leader, and Big Mountain is running in second. Good old boy up on the outside. The favorite catcher cab is down at the rail. Then calculated risker running in fifth. Pipes is in sixth. It's almost four lengths. Back to uh, Nuts for Bolts, and the uh, Mission Command is the trailer in eighth. The opening quarter mile was run in 24 seconds, and it is long shot Hushin who leads the field midway up the back stretch. Big Mountain runs in second. It's about two lengths to uh, catch a cab who's down on the inside in third. Uh, then a good old boy, calculated risker and pipes. And at the back of the pack are nuts for bolts and mission command. The half and 48 seconds. Here comes Big Mountain up to engage. Hushin for the lead. Hushin and Big Mountain. And now good old boy is on the move on the outside in third with catch a cab sitting just in behind those front three. And now Pipes is in gear on the extreme outside. Three quarters went in one twelve and three. And the field is in the stretch. Here's good old boy. Here's catch a cab. Uh, being stymied there just a bit. Pipes is on the outside and down at the rail is a nuts for bolts. It is good old boy with the lead. Then nuts for bolts, pipes, and catch a cab on the outside. They come for the finish, and it is good old boy to win it over nuts for bolts as we get things started in the Thursday Empire Six. And they're off. She's a dirty dancer. And right there is Harold Angel. And Guardian Moon is up close and on the outside. And there goes Chasing Kara. So it is Chasing Kara to the front. And Guardian Moon is next running in second. Followed by Harold Angel in third. She's a dirty dancer. Is back running in fourth. About to be passed by Lolly Gag on the outside. And then it is Going Going Gone, who is running in sixth. Naiji down on the inside in seventh. Then it's Bustin Bay in eighth. And Kara's Dreamer is the trailer in ninth. The quarter went in 22 and one. Chasing Kara on the inside, challenged by the favored Firster. Guardian Moon on the outside. So it is Guardian Moon who pokes ahead in front, chasing Kara under the whip on the inside. Here is Harold Angel. It is Guardian Moon with the lead. Harold Angel driving up on the outside. Guardian Moon holding off. Harold Angel, the firsters will be 1-2 here with Guardian Moon taking it by a length and a half. Harold Angel was second, and Kara's Dreamer, who was last, came on for third.
and they're off. Heartstrings away well. There goes Lake Chico down from the rail. Lake Chico takes the lead. La de Greeter is second. Gesture is now hustled up and is sitting right behind Lake Chico. Lake Chico is the leader. Gesture is moved into second and Toxicologist is third. La de Greeter runs in fourth. Heartstrings is now back in fifth. Barbara P. on the extreme outside. Now Wicked Title moves up down in the rail. Wicked Title has moved up four or five spots. And then it is Bella Invasion. The quarter went in 22 in four-fifth seconds. The gray, Lake Chico, leads here by a length and a half. Gesture runs in second, and Wicked Title is down on the inside in third. Then it is Intoxicologist on the outside next in fourth, followed by La Negrita and Heartstrings with Barbara P. And at the uh, back of the pack is Bella Invasion. Half mile and 46 and one. Lake Chico is still there. Gesture now moving up on the outside. It's Lake Chico and Gesture. They are one, two, and they've got about four lengths on Wicked Title in third. The field is in the stretch, and Lake Chico has opened up here. Lake Chico has built a four-length lead. Gesture has dropped back here. Now six lengths behind Lake Chico, who has turned this into a runaway. Lake Chico is going to win by eight or nine lengths. We'll be close for second, and it was La Negrita who got, out, got up for second over gesture with Intoxicologist finishing fourth. Number one, Lake Chico was first. Number three, La Negrita second. Number two, Gesture finished third. Number five, and Toxicologist was fourth. Results not official. One, three, two, five. Time of the race, one minute, 23 and four fifth seconds. They're in the gate. And they're off as they begin this mile and three furlong journey. And it's Tass who goes out for the early lead. Tizara, the gray, is down on the inside. And a Mighty Scarlet is right there. Mighty Scarlet now moves into second with Tizara in third. Dinopasser is next in fourth, followed by Red Curls in fifth. That is Palace Athene in sixth. Eliade is racing in seventh. And Hungry Kitten will be the early trailer in eighth as the field comes into the stretch for the first time. And the leader here is Tass. Tass on top here. By about a length. Mighty Scarlet's on the outside in second. And sitting just behind those two is Tizara in third. Now Palace Athene makes a move up on the outside and has moved into fourth. As the field comes under the line the first time, Tass the leader. Mighty Scarlet runs in second. Then it's Tazara with uh, Palace Athene and uh, Dinah Passer. Red Curls is down at the rail, followed by Eliade, and Hungry Kitten continues to trail. The field moves around the clubhouse turn. The half posted in 53 and two fifth seconds. Tass in front by a length. Mighty Scarlet races in second by a little more than a length. With Tazara down on the inside in third, and Palace Athene is alongside. Then Dinah Passer running in fifth. Break of two. Back to Red Curls and Eliade. And Hungry Kitten is at the back. They're midway up the back stretch. And it is still Longshot Tass 
who has the lead here. It's Tass in front, now by two lengths. Mighty Scarlet continues to race in second. Then it's Tazara and Palace Athene. And now they're approaching the far turn. It's Tass in front. The lead is two and a half lengths. Mighty Scarlet runs in second, then Palace Athene, followed by Dinah Passer, Tizara dropping back a bit down on the inside. Then Eliade, Red Curls, and Hungry Kitten, and they're all chasing Tass, who's had the lead right from the start, and is in front into the stretch. It is Tass, the leader, in front by three. Then Mighty Scarlet, Dinah Passer on the outside. Eliade is making a late run. Then the Red Curls, Palace Athene, and Hungry Kitten. Here comes Dinah Passer. Here comes Eliade, and here comes Hungry Kitten, who was last. Hungry Kitten kicking in in the stretch here. Hungry Kitten got it. Right at the end, defeating Eliade. Dinah Passer was third. Number four, Hungry Kitten first. Number six, Eliade second. Number three, Dinah Passa was third. And number five, Palace Athene finished fourth. Results are not official. Four, six, three, five. Time of the race, two minutes, 19 and two-fifth seconds. They're in the gate. And they're off. Fresco from that inside post position is out for the lead. Now Dream Bigger moves up along with Stytown Baby. And on the outside, it's Jolting Joe. Stytown Baby has the lead here. And it is Dream Bigger who is racing in second. Then Jolting Joe, the betting favorite in third, followed by Fresco who's now back running in fourth. And then on the outside, it is a turbo drive, and Zip Along is the early trailer in sixth. The opening quarter, 25 seconds. Big long shot, the Philly. Stytown Baby leads here by a little more than a length. Dream Bigger tracking in second, and then it's a gap of three lengths to the uh, gray Jolting Joe, followed by another Philly, Fresco, who's in fourth. And on the outside is Turbo Drive in fifth. Zip Along continues to trail. Half mile, 49 and 1. Dream Bigger now getting closer to Stytown Baby. Stytown Baby by a head. Dream Bigger on the outside. A break of two to Jolting Joe in third. It's another length and a half to Fresco down on the inside in fourth. Alongside Turbo Drive and Zip Along. Four and a half length separates the field. And Dream Bigger has now taken the lead from Stytown Baby. Three quarters went in one thirteen and one. It's Dream Bigger. Jolting Joe on the outside. Fresco just in behind. And out in the middle of the course, it is Turbo Drive. As they come down for the eighth pole. Here's Jolting Joe. 
Turbo Drive. Dream bigger. Late move here from Zip Along. It's Jolting Joe, and he's going to break his maiden in winning the Cab Calloway Division of the Stallion Series. Jolting Joe and Tyler Gaffleon. Number six, Jolting Joe was first. Number four, Turbo Drive second. Number three, Zip Along finished third. Number one, Fresco was fourth. Results not official. Six, four, three, one. The time was one minute, 43 seconds. Got it. And they're off. Elusive Ruler was away well, but now being passed by Zelenka and King's Honor. Zelenka has the lead. King's Honor is running in second. Elusive Rulers in between horses. On the outside is Swordsman as the field goes around the clubhouse turn. And it is Zelenka in front. King's Honor is running in second. Implied Volatility has uh, made his way through on the inside of Elusive Ruler. They're heads apart third and fourth. Swordsman is next in fifth. And then it is Ravenio who's running in sixth. Cataract is next in seventh. And at the back of the pack are Teekvin Flu and Kid Chocolate. The first quarter in 24 seconds as the field moves up the back stretch. Big long shot, Zelenka in front here by a little more than two lengths with King's Honor running in second and then Implied Volatility and Elusive Ruler. Their heads apart third and fourth. Swordsman is next in fifth, followed on the inside by Ravenio in seventh. As the field goes for the far turn, the half and 49 and 1. Cataract is now making up some ground on the outside. At the back are Kid Chocolate and Teak Vin Flu. It is King's Honor to challenge Zelenka for the lead. Elusive Ruler now moves up on the outside. Implied Volatility will look to come through in between horses here. Here comes Implied Volatility. Here comes Cataract on the outside. King's Honor is there along with Elusive Ruler. They're moving for the 16th pole. It is King's Honor, Cataract, and Elusive Ruler. Late move from Kid Chocolate. King's Honor has the lead. Cataract on the outside. King's Honor the winner. Cataract was second in a three-way photo for third.
Number eight, King's Honor was first. Number six, Cataract second. Number three, Kid Chocolate finished third. And number five, Elusive Ruler was fourth. Results unofficial. 8635. Time of the race, one minute 38 and two fifth seconds. Number eight is King's Honor. Three year old Bay Gelding by Kingman. Out of Soul of Houdini by Perfect Soul. King's Honor is owned by Michael J. Ryan. Trained by Brittany Russell. The rider, Javier Castellano. Race nine is official. The Exacta, $55. The Double, $33. Trifecta, $197.25. The Dime Super, $76.90. Pick Three, $279. The Pick Four, $1,836.25. Pick Five pays $17,668.75. The Empire Six pays $21,000. $74.20. There's now a jackpot carryover in the Empire Six of $1,129,427. And please remember there is a mandatory payout coming up 